Another event for seniors tonight. Good morning, it's Monday, June 1st. I'm Brian Cohen. One more Tuesday evening school. Good morning, I'm President Richard Nixon. The JHS report is coming up. Seniors performing at baccalaureate this evening need to be in the auditorium at 6 p.m. All others report to the cafeteria with cap and gown by 6.30 p.m. Finals today for seniors, periods 1, 3, and 6. Tomorrow, period 2 for all, period 4 for seniors. Tuesday evening school for attendance recovery will be held one more time tomorrow, June 2nd. Times are from 2.50 p.m. to 5 p.m. and you will meet in the cafeteria. If you have days to make up, you must be there. Wednesday is a regular school day. 7.30 a.m., no late start. All students must be in their first period class by 7.30 a.m. Finals for the seniors in periods one, three, and six. Seniors will finish school on Tuesday with exams in periods two and four. The senior picnic and graduation practice will be held at 11.30 a.m. on Tuesday. Remember that Rose Holman provides a homework hotline that is available to 6th through 12th graders for free math and science help. Students may call toll-free 1-877-ASK-ROSE or visit www.askrose.org. To get your announcement on the WJHS report, simply fill out the form located in the front office or have a staff member email Mr. Gross, and we will do our best to make sure that announcement gets on the air. All announcements must be submitted at least three days in advance to be put in the newscast. Darn it, Kissinger, I should have burnt the tapes. We'll have the JHS weather forecast, plus your latest Jeff High Sports after the break. Introducing Maple Tree Learning Services Outstanding Educator of the Week. Congratulations to Miss Debbie Adkins, who teaches second grade at Bridgepoint Elementary School. Miss Adkins is one of the amazingly talented teachers who truly make learning fun. What's your favorite part about teaching? My favorite part about teaching is watching the children's faces when they learn something new. There's nothing like it. What teaching techniques do you use? I love to come up with new poems and chants and things to help things stick in their mind. Stay tuned for next week's Educator. Good morning, I'm Ms. Bell with a look at your JHS weather forecast. Today, sunny to partly cloudy, warm high 89. Tonight, party cloudy skies, a stray shower or thunderstorms is possible, low of 69. Tomorrow, generally sunny despite a few afternoon clouds, high 92. That's a look at your JHS weather forecast. Now here's a look at your JHS sports with Big D. Good morning, I'm Big D with JHS Headline Sports. Jeff, who is now 2011, blanked Bedford North Lawrence in the first semifinal, 4-0. Jeremy Egger tossed a complete game five-hitter against the Stars. The left-hander struck out nine, walked two, and hit one batter to up his record to five and two. Ryan Pierce had a two-for-three game with three-run home run for three RBIs and two runs scored. Jeff will face the Bulldogs tonight at 6 p.m. in the sectional final. Anyone interested in being the boys' soccer manager next year should see Mr. Bix in a gym this week. Any students interested in running cross country next year, please stop by at room 118A or come to the informational meeting with their parents scheduled for Wednesday evening at 6 p.m. That is it for Jeff High Sports. Stay tuned. A final word from the news desk is next. Finally today, we will still run birthday greetings on the WJHS report. Bring six pictures and five dollars to room 713 at least a day in advance. Now you're up to date with the latest Jeff High news. I'm President Richard Nixon. And I'm Brian Cohen. From all of us here at WJHS, have a great day and remember to do your part to make Jeff High a better school. I'm not a crook. Not a crook. 
So, Mr. Nixon, do you think that you will run in 2012? Well, thank you. And remember, vote for me when I come back to life and run.